What's good, y'all? Uh, it's Satchelot. We finna uh, we finna build a five M server, a QB server at that, and then we're gonna use Maria DB instead of XM today. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna create a folder. So it's your desktop. You wanna create a folder. I'm gonna call mine Test RP, right? You call yours whatever you want your server name to be. Mine is gonna be Test RP. And then you're going to open this folder. Inside this folder, you're going to create a new folder. So inside your test folder or your server folder, you're going to create a folder called server. Right? Now from here, you're going to open a new browser window. Let me get mine pulled up. And then you're going to go to 5m.net. Okay. So I'm going to have a link in, in the description for 5m.net. If you don't have 5m downloaded already, this is how you'll do it. You'll click on download client if you don't have the app itself downloaded. Now, if you do and uh, you're ready to go on with the server, you're going to click on create your own server. Now, once you click on that, you have two options. And you're going to click on host your own server. Now, from here, you're going to click on server using, setting up a server using TX admin. You're going to click on the list that they have for all their servers. You can click on the latest recommended, but, you know, they have different settings, and sometimes not everything's updated already. So, I'm going to just go with the latest one that they have, which in my case was made two days ago on the 6th. So, I'm going to click on this one. Wait for it to download. Another thing, you need to have an application that can extract zip files. I use WinRAR. You can use 7-Zip, whichever is easier for you. But I use WinRAR. I already have it downloaded. Um, and so if you need to pause this and go download it, you do that. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And this is where I have it. I ain't paying for it, so this is going to pop up. This is going to have to pop up. So these are all the files for the 5M server that we just downloaded. Now, if you didn't open it like that, you can go to your downloads. And you'll see it right here. Right? Mine is three because I done did this a million times for whatever reason. So you're going to right-click on this. Well, click it first. Right-click on it. Extract all. And then you'll find it towards the bottom. It'll be in three. So you can go from here. I'll do it from here just so you can too. I ain't gonna use this one. So it's all the same thing anyway. So on here, you can make sure you're in this folder. Click on somewhere in it. And then you're gonna do control A to click on everything. You'll drag it from that folder to your server folder. It should be inside the server and not inside the initial folder right so here we go we got all the files we we'll close this now from here you're gonna scroll down you see this application called fx server you're gonna double click on that it's gonna open up a terminal you're just gonna click on more info run anyway it's a safe application it's okay you're gonna click allow and then it should pop up automatically make sure the code is the same or the pen is the same. Excuse my voice. I'm, I'm trying to get over a code. And it ain't working yet. Link account. Alright, now I already have an account. As you can see, if you don't or if you're not signed in already, create an account. Here you need to put up a backup password. Now, the same one I got. Make sure you click that. Register. You're going to press next. Your server name. I named mine test RP. You'll name it whatever you did. The initial folder. You're going to click on popular recipes. Click on QB Core. You're going to leave it here because when we clicked on it, it was already in the server file folder. This is going to create two new folders for you or a new folder in the application. So click save and then run deploy. And from here, uh, you can, this, is, this just shows you all the the files that they're going to be downloading and stuff like that. So press next. 
here you need a key master or a license key you're gonna go to key master make sure you need to verify and you're not a robot woo 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 and then here I've had a million servers okay teaching how to do it so when you sign in or create a new account it'll automatically bring you to this page more so but it's going to ask you for your IP address. I have that link in the in the description, but if you don't want to click there, you can do what's my IP address. And it's going to give you do these two IPs and whichever one is asking you for, that's what you put in there. Now you go back, you'll put that in here and then it should bring you to this page. I'm going to just name mine test RP just for the fun of it. I'm not a robot. I'm going to generate it and then you copy it. So then once you copy this link, you're going to come back to this page. And then you're going to paste, paste the link right here. Control V to paste. Control C to copy. Now, in order to use MariaDB, where it says show high database options, okay, you're going to need some information from right here. So on here, I also have the link to this in the description as well but you're going to go to maria db you search it or click on the link and if you click on a link it's going to take you to this page where you download it i use windows if you use linux linux you can select that one but i already i use windows it's the only option right here you're going to leave it at this so when you download it it's like it works as an application so you can just set everything up you're going to click download you're gonna wait for it to download it shouldn't take that long now that it's finished you double click it or click it if you're using Chrome press next I accept next and then here we go you're gonna leave this the same but Heidi SQL will go into that too you're gonna need that but we'll talk about that so from here you press next you make a password it could be a little short password and then you en you enable this you press next that's the name of it this is the default port uh, which is always most in most cases your default port especially for 5m it's 3306 you know, press next of course i already have one so well, it, it might it might let me use the same port or we're gonna see Oh, yeah, so I just changed the name. That's cool. So we have that downloaded. It's set up. We have our SQL set up for 5M. So you're going to come back here. You can close out of this. You don't need that. We come back here. You can put in the password that you just set up on MariaDB. And then you're going to press Run Recipe. This is going to take a minute, so we're just going to sit back and chill. Now here is your service con configuration. So right here, you change the name of it. So mine is called Test RP. Yours, whatever you called it. You can erase the rest of that, so it's just your name. And the same thing for QB Core Framework. All right, and then um, I can spin this a little bit. Yeah, now this is where you'll put your description at. You could change this. Uh, I'm not going to change this now, but you can change it or you can always come back to it. In order to come back to it, you'll go to your server CFG. Now this where you can change your change your local your <laughs> you can change your logo and stuff of that sort. It's basically where you if you make any changes you have to save it on this on this configuration so you'll press save and run server all right now right here it's, it shows that your database connection uh was established so if you you know if you when you set up the maria db you know, and had the port 3306 and you put your password 
and you made sure you put that on here before we got to this page you should be all set if not please rewind the video well here is the you know the folder the two folders that we created your server and then the server folder within it we'll go back and it created these two folders so it automatically created TD uh, TX data and this is what you'll click to open this terminal so how we open it in the beginning if you ever restart your computer or you close everything out and you want to get back to your server I'll minimize that this is how you do it you go to your folder and then you click on this it's already open so you don't need to click on it now and if you want to get to this website if you close this website and you want to get back to this website on your terminal at the very top you'll control left click localhost now you open this this is your framework and then this is that page so where we just changed the name and stuff or edited the name that's this what we what we did this at this is where you can find this so you have two you should have two some of you may only have one but you should indeed have two so this one the server cfg one this is just gonna bring up like a notepad or something this is a backup so if you made a bunch of changes and something didn't work in your server and you can't figure out what it is this is your backup but this is where you go which will open up javascript this is where you go to save it if you don't do it on the tx admin website any changes you make you save it and you will have to restart your server this is how you restart so if you're on this website you can click right here um, if you're only using one monitor in which I'm using one monitor right now and you don't know how to move around you click server and it'll bring the same thing up right there now if you want you can um, try to open up your server and see what it's talking about we'll go to 5m shouldn't take that long to pull up All right, so that's the last thing I connected to. You'll click on, you'll have your computer name or your 5M name. I don't know which one this really is. I put them all as the same name. But you'll, you'll click that under play. It'll have connect. And it'll have your new server that's connected. Now, um, if you ever want to edit this, there's a script. Let me show you. Click the Windows folder. You go to resources, QB. And QB loading this this is what's making that so I'm not gonna make any crazy changes right now I'll just click on some oh yeah we're gonna create it it's gonna bring you to the apartment or you pick your apartment I like picking integrity way I just feel like it's in the middle of every of everything You've created a QB core server using MariaDB. So now you have a SQL that you don't have to start every time you want to play your server. It's already connected for you. Now, uh, going back to the Heidi SQL, I'm going to press F8 to, to quit this. Going back to the Heidi SQL, so it's going to be an app like this right here. What you're going to do is to download it uh type it in of course search you know download it it's no me installer right here not that and then you know press save and set up right Not gonna create a desktop icon because I already have one right here. All right. You see, I already have a server here. We're gonna create a new one. Call it the server name that I just created, which is test RP here is the um you see we're using MariaDB so you're gonna put the password that you you just created right here now 
Let me make sure this is the same one. When you go to your folder, so when you click on TX data, you see 7EF. 7EF. So this is your new server. When you come here, you, you got all your all your stuff in here. As far as like you know, apartments, clothes. You will need this when it comes to customizing certain things because you you'll have to add a a database for certain things. Uh, when you come across those videos, it's going to show you the SQL that you're going to need to upload. It's going to bring you to this app. So just keep that in mind. Yep, folks, peeps, y'all got it. That's a new server, QB core based framework using MariaDB. If y'all liked it or if I helped y'all and it worked for you, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any requests for any other videos you know, uh, adding new shoes or tattoos or hair, hairstyles, stuff like that. Just let me know. Just comment it and I most definitely post a video for you. But thank you. I appreciate it. We're going to wrap this up.